So in this video, we're going to show where the derivative of the secant function comes from, or how to come up with or derive the derivative of the secant function. So the claim is that the derivative d d theta of the secant of theta is equal to the secant times the tangent. <clears throat> so similar to the last video, we start off by just rewriting d d theta of secant of theta, d d theta secant theta. And then, like we did in the last video with the tangent function, we want to think about how the secant function is defined from trigonometry. And in trigonometry, we, we define the secant function to be 1 over the cosine, the reciprocal of the cosine function. So to find the derivative of the secant, I just need to find the derivative of 1 over the cosine of theta. And now I have a quotient. I have a ratio of two functions. So I can use the quotient rule to take the derivative of 1 over the cosine of theta. So the quotient rule says, stepping through it in pieces, the quotient rule says take the derivative of the numerator. But the numerator is a constant, so the derivative of the numerator is 0. The quotient rule says derivative of numerator times the denominator minus the quotient rule says take the derivative of the denominator and multiply it by the numerator. So the derivative of cosine of theta is minus the sine of theta times the numerator, derivative of denominator times numerator, all over from the quotient rule, square the denominator. So cosine squared of theta. And now we just want to start simplifying. So we have 0, double negation is a plus. So we wind up with just the sine of theta in the numerator all over the cosine squared of theta. And cosine squared is really just cosine times cosine. So we could break this up as the sine of theta over the cosine of theta times the cosine of theta. And we can break this up as the sine of theta over the cosine of theta times 1 over the cosine of theta. I'm going to separate the screen here. So d, d theta, the left-hand side is secant of theta. I'm going to bring my equal to over. And we want to just, we want to make sure that we understand that this is the same as the previous line. Look, if we multiply it, we get sine times sine. Numerator times numerator is numerator. Sine times 1 is sine. Cosine times cosine. Denominator times denominator is denominator. So cosine times cosine is still cosine, cosine, or cosine squared. And then sine over cosine from trigonometry, we want to recognize that that's the definition of the tangent function. The tangent of theta is the sine of theta divided by the cosine of theta, and 1 over the cosine of theta is the secant of theta. And of course, the order of multiplication doesn't matter for these functions. So we're claiming that it's secant theta times tangent of theta, but secant, secant times tangent is the same as tangent times secant because the order of multiplication doesn't matter. So indeed, the derivative of the secant is the secant times the tangent. 